Hey guys, welcome back. This week I'm recreating the disintegration effect from Infinity Wars. Let's get started. Open After Effects and import your images and create a new comp. From here, go to Effects Panel and type Key Light. Drag and drop Key Light Spill Suppression onto the clip. Using the Screen Color Picker tool, click on an area of the green as close to the person as possible. The reason I chose Spill Suppressor is when you zoom into the green screen, you can see that the edge still has some green if you turn on advanced spill suppressor it's a hard word to say it'll take the green screen spill off the person next now that we have an alpha or a mask of the people duplicate this layer from here go to the effects and presets panel and type fractal noise drag and drop this onto the top layer and change the contrast and the brightness so you have more of black to white ratio similar to this i want to change the particles coming off to have a brownie uh, red color initially thought that if you could use four grade color it would work but it'll just fill the color so what you actually need to use is tint as it'll keep the fractal noise but also color it in okay so i'm choosing black and a brownie ready color once you're happy with that, put, uh, go back to the effects and presets panel and search for linear wipe. With this, we can keyframe the fractal noise on and off your person, like this. With linear wipe, you can change the trans transition completion to, to wipe the fractal noise in and out. Using the wipe angle, you can t tell the direction you want it to come from. So I want it to come from bottom left, covering Kevin Hart first. Once we're happy with that, Click on both the video, highlight both the video clips, right click and click on pre comp. From there, go back to the effects and presets panel and type scatter. This will bring in automatically bricks. What we need to do is change a few of the set. The view from wire and frame force to render so we can see what's actually happening. Go into shape tool and change the bricks to glass. This will take the video and turn them into glass like here but the glass sizes are too big what we need to do is change the repetition of the breaks from 10 to roughly roughly 200 but you can go lower if you want up here it'll only go to 200 next i'm going to use the origin to point out the direction of which of where i want the scattering to start so bottom left for me from here Open force one and change the radius, which shows the amount it'll actually affect and the strength. Have a play to see what you'd like. Next, open physics and change the viscosity, which will hold the particles together or as far, depending how high you go. Change the amount of gravity on the part individual particles and direction. I'm going to change it to zero as I want the particles to flow up and change the gravity inclination to 60. I'm going to go to the middle of the time middle of the time frame and move the position and radius to animate the particles and go to the end to co where it completely disappears. Okay, it works, but my my linear has a hard edge to it. So I'm going to go back into the linear wipe and increase the feather to around 70%. Once I'm happy with that, we kind of have a good particle effect, a disintegrated effect already. What and what we just need to do is add a final bit of dust. So so create a new solid and make sure it's black. From there, add grain from the effects and presets panel and change the tiny little preview box to the final output. Change intensity to 10, size to 10, softness to around 0.2. Uh, Open color and change to monochromatic. This will make it black and white. And then turn it off. Next, duplicate the video layer and go into the scatter settings and change it change pattern change the pattern settings from glass to custom underneath that change the effect change the effect to background solid and the next tab along change it to effects and mask i actually forgot to do this so don't forget to do this and then go through and change the settings as you like change the settings to line up with the previous keyframes and change accordingly i'm going to change my viscosity to 10 my gravity to, to 80 and that's it Changes to what you would prefer. Last thing, you, last thing you need to do is go into the keyframes on the composition and highlight the keyframes and change to Easy E. 
this will just give your animation a bit of a pop be careful guys because rendering this out with this effect crashed my crashed after effect so many times the only way i could render out everything was rendering it frame by frame last thing i did was added a background which you can get from anywhere on the internet i just chose an office scene and you're done as always guys thanks for everything please smash the like button and hit the subscribe button and i'll see you next week